What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843. We are in Las Vegas for the NBVA and AMOA Amusement Expo 2024. Let's go take a look and see what all is gonna be available this year. Let's go. All right, guys, we're kicking it off at CandyMachines.com. They just unveiled the Super Mini Duo machine. Take a look at that, guys. It's a mini claw machine and bulk vending machine combined for two. How cool is that? They also introduced the new Robo Claw machine. Take a look at this. Say hi to Andy, everyone. Come on in and play. Come on in and play. There's our new machine, the Robo Claw. So cool. It's got an interactive robot that plays with you and is very cool. That's all so awesome to see. So obviously, you know, CandyMachines.com has some amazing machines. They've got the key catcher, which does really well for us. I also like these kind of medium-sized claw machines. Here's the spaced out treasure. And of course, they've got other stuff, magic cut, mini magic cuts here. All kinds of cool stuff. All right. So let's take a look around. Let's see what all is gonna be available at the show today. So there's gonna be so many different vendors and so many different types of vendors here for bulk vending, of course, claw machines, video games, pinball, all kinds of cool stuff. So right now we're in the NDVA section, which stands for the National Bulk Vending Association section here. But there is so much more because this is the Amusement Expo. So we're gonna take a walk around and see what all kind of cool things are going to be available. As you can see, there's, you know, payment systems, uh, different types of games, of course, for FECs and all the other good stuff. Heading on over to Pipeline Games here. I'm sure you guys know Pipeline Games. We showed some of their machines at the IAPA show 2023. Here's that Poker Prize, which is, you know, super popular. The object of the game is to stop it on the clip and of course drop the finger down to release the prize from the clip. So there we go. They've also got the new Lookout Below machine, which is a marble pusher with prizes like that. So that's very cool. Now obviously their machines are bright and look nice, but that's called Lookout Below. Looks like uh, Gary is currently talking to some other people there. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute. Here is the Box Buster machine. How cool is that? I love how bright that is. The object is to line up the box with the number to win the prize. All right, let's take a look at this Lookout Below machine. There we go, let's look out below. Marble Pusher with prizes, kind of like a smaller version of Over the Edge. Very cool though. As you know, they also have the Cut to Win machines. So there's all those machines. Very good stuff. Lots of different options here. All right, let's see what else we can find. I know we need to see all kinds of different vendors here. We're gonna make our way out of the NBVA section and make our way toward the amusement section. So let's go. All right. Out onto the main floor, as you can see, this place is jumping, guys. Everyone wants to be here. Of course, we're in Las Vegas and having a good time. So this show is a mixture of multiple types of business. So this section over here is BCA or Billiards and Home Gaming. So as you can see, as you can imagine, there's a lot of pool tables, lots of stuff like that. And of course, there's many more pool table stuff over there. We don't feature too many pool table or billiard type content here on the channel. So we're not gonna spend too much time in this section looking at pool cues and billiard balls and table felts and shuffleboard and furniture for your home game room or bar. So we'll move on down kind of in this section. I can see there are some really cool looking driving games down here. You see the chase, the finish, all that stuff off in the distance there. Let's make our way down to this area. Now there's also gonna be other types of games here like casino games. If you're into slot machines or if your state allows you to operate those types of machines, you can find them here as you can imagine. So there's more of the slot section over there. And what we're gonna take a look at first are these new driving games. So this one obviously takes your picture. They're motion seats, which is really cool. So take a look at that. I love how it shows the, uh, the people's positions and their pictures up on the main marquee. That's so cool to see. And the graphics look very awesome. And of course, it's motion activated. So these players are certainly having an experience, as you can imagine. 
All right, let's see what else there is. Of course, they've got the giant Hungry Hungry Hippos game. Very popular at family entertainment centers. Over here, okay, this looks like a lot of uh, different uh, casino type games in this section. Here's more of those racers, and these are the non-motion, probably a little less expensive in price if you don't want the non-motion. So lots of options there. All right, let's make our way over here. Okay, we're not gonna spend too much time on the uh, slot style machines because again, that's not what we really feature on this channel. All right, here we go. We are, whose section is this? Whose station? Okay, this looks like AZ Amusements. Let's take a look at some of their machines. So AZ Amusements got the new Clippet Extreme. As you can see, this is kind of a trend. The new clip machines where it's got a carousel in the middle and you can win different prizes. Uh, they've also got the prize safari, which is slot machine style. Hey guys, how are you? We're, we're showing off the AZ Amusement stuff right there now. You go. It's yes, beautiful, isn't it? I am impressed with some of these lighting packages and just the I follow attractives. You, YouTube, my man. I follow, that's why uh, I'm here because I follow you. Oh, thank you. That's, that's, nice that's to meet why you. I'm here. Well, say hi to everyone because we're recording come right see now. It. Yes, really good game. yes. Really good. Get to Vegas. Come see us. As you know, these machines. They make you money, so so absolutely. All right, so here we go. So Prize Safari is a slot style machine with three reels, and you can win prizes by stopping and matching the different animals on the reels, which is really cool. Uh, let's move over. Let's move over to this side here. Um, as you know, they've got the typical Golden House minis. They've got the buses that have different uh, prizes like that. Um, let's see what else is in the middle here. This one looks really cool. The new AZ Amusements with the rimless sides. I do like that very much. That's so cool to see, of course. And then let's make our way over here. We've got the really nice lighted machines. Uh, the one in particular that uh, I obviously am a little, a, little, um, a little biased by is the Galaxy machine. And do you know why I'm biased to this machine? But of course, because I'm Galaxy Games 843. So take a look at those awesome new version of the Galaxy machines. They got they got the lighted uh, control panels like that. Of course, the LED corners and the awesome topper up there. So that's awesome. Definitely gonna get one of these on the route pretty soon because I'm Galaxy Games 843. I gotta get one of these machines. But also some other versions there. We got the Sweet Treat machine and the Duck Shop. Also bright, colorful machines. So very cool. And if you remember, in one of our live streams, we gave away a Cube Factory just like this machine here. This is so cool because you play it from the top down like that. You can just line it up to win your prize. This year, though, they've, uh, they've brought out a multiplayer, four different selection, giant Cube Factory. Look at that. How cool is that? That is very awesome. They've got all kinds of different prizes. You could do four different sections for four different prizes and it's very awesome of course too they like i said they've got the uh you see these in malls a lot it's a uh, multi-sectioned claw machines this one is semi-truck themed but uh you'll see these in malls and other locations there's a smaller version back there but lots of great stuff if you've got an fec here's some good machines for for kids especially crazy frogs we got a candy party machine that's new this year and of course, another crazy frog. This is like the updated version of the Whack-A-Mole, as you're not, uh, as you're probably aware of. And then of course, they've got prize boxes or prize lockers. Take a look at these with the AZ Amusements Magic Key machine. So those look really attractive. Nice and bright, very cool. I like it. All right, let's see what else there is to see. As you know, we also, when you come here, there's lots of vendors for plush prizes, things to stock your machines up with. And this is Toy Factory, which is somebody I, I haven't used yet, but I'm really excited to get, to get to work with them. They've got some really nice looking licensed plush and of course, unlicensed plush too. But I mean, look, they got all the main characters you want, Pac-Man, you know, anime stuff, Pokemon, of course, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I'm sure they've got Nintendo stuff, which I don't see yet, but they've got Looney Tunes, my Little Pony, DC, look at all that cool stuff. 
That's Toy Factory. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be placing some orders with them in the future. All right, let's make our way over here. Now, this uh, this looks like this. Yes, this is the same company we saw in IAPA. I mean, how light, lit up and bright all this is. So cool. We got the Wonder Claws, and they have some machines I know that they can program with custom graphics, custom things. Like, for example, this here, they can make this say whatever you want. If you're having a birthday party for someone, you can program it to say happy birthday to that person. I mean, so many cool things, right? Again, here is uh, the different pushers they're using. Looks like almost clock charms and jewels instead of a coin pusher, obviously, because some states can't run coin pushers. This is an, an alternative. We got, like I said, jewels and like clock charms as prizes. And it's so bright, so attractive, great volume. People are gonna play these machines for sure. So this is the style of claw machine. We're starting to see a lot more, like I said, the, the, the cornerless sides where the corners are just uh, the glass like that. And um, I do have a machine like this. It's about to go on location, so you'll see that in a future video. But uh, I'm super excited to see how well it does. So there we go. Aaron, can you say hello to us? What's up, man? How are you doing? Are you live right now? Oh, you're I'm not, not live. live. I'm not live. It. But you all know Aaron, so say hi, Aaron. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Having a good time here? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Some sweet stuff. Some here. sweet stuff, absolutely. We went over and talked to SMB. We got a bunch yes. of good deal and some inventory for some mini cranes. Yes, that's what I'm... I am also shopping for inventory, so there's got, so many great deals. They got a mix over there going right now. Yes. A bunch of cool stuff. 29 yeah. cents a piece. No. And it's like, it's like big stuff, too. Really. Like, oh, I haven't been to their booth yet. I'm yeah. going to have to go check it out. Yeah, stop over to SMB. Where's everyone else at? They're all over the place. You know, we just go crazy. See, like, Cody here? They are on their way over right now. Yeah, yes. probably slept into it. Quick play will be here, guys. They, they were probably sleeping. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> but he, Aaron, he texted us yeah. yesterday. He's like, 11 o'clock. I just got up. I'm like, dude. I mean, you're in Vegas, right? Yeah. There's no rules here. Right. Well, you know, thanks for coming up and saying yes. hi. Thanks for, thanks for, for yeah. talking to we'll us, man. We'll catch you in a little bit. All right. Have a good one. Aaron, guys. Claw Kicker. Go check him out. You know he's awesome. All right. Let's get back to seeing what's here. All right. We're, I don't even know what's over this way. I see more plush over here, but I think it's still part of this display. Let's take a look at this plush real quick. So uh, what I really like is it's kind of got that anime feel to it, which is really hot right now. Um, and it's it, none of it is licensed characters, so you don't have to worry about copyright or stuff like that. It looks like very high quality stuff too. Very awesome. Yeah, you know, you're seeing a lot more of this stuff in the, in the claw rooms and different things like that. These kind of prizes, nothing licensed, but just really high quality stuff. So I do like to see that. Oh, look at these, they're like, sandwiches with panda bears in it how cool is that all right um okay this side uh this is this is a lot of vr stuff obviously you know vr is not for us not what we're looking for so let's make our way over here and see what all we can see that's kind of creepy right no i'm good that was that was a little creepy but again this is the, we're kind of in the vr section right now all right here we go this is who i want to see this is s and vending, and we loved their machines here last year. The black box in particular was one that we really enjoyed to see. I thought this machine was super sleek, very cool. They have a small version and a large version, obviously. They got junior cuts, skill cuts, all kinds of cool machines. The Neon World, they've got some uh, cube machines, very cool. And we'd love to take a look. Let's see what's over here. We got to find a coin, and you know we love these types of machines because They've got prize lockers. How cool is that? That's the find a coin. Again, we're at S and B, and that's so cool. All right, let's see what else we can see. Guys, don't forget if you're enjoying this video, we came all the way to Las Vegas to film just this video for you. So make sure you guys hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, show your support to the channel for coming all the way out here to make this content for you. All right, all right, I see more machines that we're into over here, but first of all, check out, U I think this is USA Pinball. You know I love the pinball machines. We got Barrio's Barbecue Challenge, which is a new machine this year. Galactic Tank Force, 
That's a popular one. Of course, there's the Hot Wheels. <clears throat> we got the Houdini machines. And then this one is, is this Valhalla? Yes, Valhalla. Legends of Valhalla. So that's USA Pinball. And guys, who can go wrong with a classic Zoltar machine? You've seen the movie Big, right? You know what I'm talking about for all you 80s kids out there. There's the Zoltar machine. You can get Zoltar here and Zoltar merchandise. Very cool. All right, let's take a look at these machines over here. These, this is for US fun machines. We talked to them at IAPA. They do claw machines, of course, like this and plush. So let's see what they got for us today. A lot of, yeah, a lot of, a lot, I think we saw this machine at IAPA and it still looks great. I love how they've incorporated the LED lights into the clear see-through corners. That's something you don't see too often. So I was excited to see how nice that looked. Really bright machines, catches the eye. Very cool. Let's see what they got over here. We're cutting through their booth here, guys. Lots of plushes, you can imagine. They've got uh, more machines over here I want to take a look at. These ones I thought were cool because the lower sections were clear and you could use as storage for more plush or even advertisement for plush. And those are nice looking machines. They're called Fun Times and they've got awesome LED lights. So that's cool. All right. Again, we're, we're kind of getting mixed in with slot machines over here. Again, we don't do slots on this channel. Um, I don't know though, if you guys would ever like to see slot, slot stuff, I guess let me know in the comments, but it's not something I have easy access to typically. Because there's no casinos in South Carolina, guys. <laughs> All right, moving on, what do we got over here? There's a, you know, a typical boxer machine. And it looks like there's multiple boxer machines over here. A babe boxer for attracting the female players. That's kind of cool. It's like kind of Barbie themed, but not really Barbie, right? But it's Barbie themed, but it doesn't say Barbie. That's how we get, that's how they do it. And then of course we got some mini claws over here, some other uh, kind of FEC style machines got some cotton candy vending over here fish tables if you can run those in your state i cannot run them in my state again we're getting mixed in with slot machines over here so let's see what the next row holds a lot of things here today too are you know for your home game room or for you know um if you've got bars or restaurants you know this uh this show shows so many cool things so let's go take a look and see what we can see back i see some cool neon signs up here and you know neons are very attractive to the eye so let's go take a look at the neon signs up here here we go it's the neon section look how bright those signs are i love classic neon sometimes though they make them with led but these look like actual neon and I'm guessing they do custom neon here. I mean, how cool would it be to get a Galaxy Games 843 neon sign for behind me while on, uh, while on camera, like at the, uh, in the studio? I think that'd be so awesome. Maybe someday when the channel gets a little bit bigger, guys. With that said, if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would really help us. We're trying to grow. We just passed 48,000 subscribers and we're on our way to that 50,000 subscriber goal so help us get there, guys. If you haven't done so yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. All right, we're uh, cutting back through the billiards area. Again, we don't do any billiards content on this channel. So we're gonna make our way to the other half of the Amusement Expo show. All right, so there's a whole nother half, guys. Look at this. We've only been on kind of one kind of, maybe even just a quarter so far. But a lot more to see, so let's go see what else there is. Making our way back through the billiards area. And we're going to make our way to the right. Now, these are a lot more machines, kind of more designated towards FEC. So if you do family entertainment centers, a lot of cool machines over here that you might be interested in. Here's the Spider-Man kind of, uh, it's kind of like Pearl Fishery, where it uses the large balls and the small balls. But they've also mixed coins into play as well. So that's the Marvel Spider-Man machine. Very cool. 
and we're gonna make our way over here. I see some really nice looking machines. Here we go. This one caught my eye. It's the Superstar. Hey, Galaxy Games 843. TV Stuck Dusto here with another exciting MBVA. Here we go. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Good to meet you. Good to see you, man. All right. That was one of the Discord members. Make sure you go say hi to TV's Doug Dusko in the Discord. All right, there's our Superstar 2 machine. The object of the game is to stop the player in one of those numbers to win the prize. And it's challenging. There we go. All right, more games, again, a, a lot of these are FEC style games. There's Crazy Balls. No comment. We got the Guardians of the Galaxy. This is, um, oh, it's like the train machine, right? So it's got the, uh, the things and the object is to land the tokens in those cars to win prizes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need some water here soon, guys. I'm talking a lot, I know I am. All right, all right, so this is a lot of laser tag stuff over here. Excuse my voice, it's already starting to affect me. Let me clear my throat real quick. <clears throat> all right, back to it. One Shot Wonder, Air Slide DX. These are uh, skill games where you have to obviously get it up to a certain line. Swing to Smash, that looks cool. There's a uh, full size and a smaller version. This is kind of like Keymaster, same basic rules. I like that there's a, a regular size and a mini size. That's very awesome to see. All right, let's make our way kind of around this corner here. We've got a drop it machine, drop it into certain squares, a cocoa bowl. There's the, the Fast and Furious, which we featured on the channel last year. Those are awesome. These are the non-motion versions. And randomly, there's a Stern Jaws machine sitting here. Look at that. We haven't seen the Stern setup yet, but I'm sure we'll find it. All right. So down here looks like, again, um, some, some definitely some more slot-type machines. What's beyond that, though? I see lots of crazy lights. and. All right, here we go. I see an over the edge machine over here. Guys, this over the edge machine is a super popular machine in, in arcades. Let's go take a look at it. <clears throat> here we go, it's over the edge. And it's a marble pusher, just like you've seen in some of the other things today. With all these great prizes that drop down. And then you, uh, the object is to push them with the marbles over the edge to win the prize. So how cool is that? Really nice games, as you can see. They uh, supply the prizes too, so there's lots of stuff there. And some uh, some smaller versions. Here's a Funko Funcade. That is cool. That looks awesome. And then more different machines up here. I'm not familiar with with this company here, but they look like some nice machines. Again, those rimless corners, which we like to see. And then here's uh, some awesome stuff with the uh, programmable marquees. Very nice machines. Again, that like like I said, the rimless corners are kind of the trend that we're seeing now in the newer machines. Those look awesome. Here's the toy box. Nice, a large size machine. They got the mini versions too. Bright LEDs, which we like to see. And then there's some different cover machines. And of course, kind of a candy claw. Fantastic prize machines. Look at those. Those are pretty slick. Here is Godzilla vs. Kong Smasher, kind of like a new updated version of Whack-A-Mole. How cool is that? I've seen lots of new stuff here this year. Of course, you've got your Lane Master Extremes, your bowling games. There's a motion Bigfoot Mayhem driving game over there. It's motion, that's cool. We've got the uh, the Pumpkin Party and Space Travel Machines. Again, these are geared towards FEC, so that's super awesome. That's what we like to see. All right. 
awesome machines here today, guys. So many cool things to see. Let's make our way down here. I haven't found, is this? Okay, here's Coastal Amusements. Amusements, wow, I can't talk anymore. Coastal Amusements, here we go. They've always got some awesome machines. You know I love the claw machines. They've got the big ones. They've got Plinko. They've got Snow Day, which you saw Quick Play play last year. And Mrs. Galaxy Game 343 played this at IAPA this past year, too. Very cool. There's the Showtime by Coastals. Awesome. You know, your water shooter games. And then down here, I saw a Find a Key machine. Let's go check that out. This is the Find a Key Deluxe. You've all seen those machines. Those are awesome. They're running the larger eggs in this machine. And of course, the object is to find the, find the key to open the prize lockers down there. So guys, I do apologize. I know it's super loud and it's very busy. So sometimes it's hard to get in there and get those shots. All right, let's make our way over to Ice. You know, Ice makes amazing games too. I see stirring pinballs over here. Sega, Benson, Roth Rills. So these are going to be some of our bigger machines of the day. You know, typical basketball games, snow toss games, uh, the soccer games where you kick the ball. Those are cool. Follow you. Follow me. Yeah. Oh, everything's doing good things. I look at I look at all the things you make with you. Your body is there. Yes. Uh, Who's that? When you got a podcast together, you got another guy got a podcast too, and you got a together. Oh, like like Jonathan or David or one of those guys? David or whatever with the glasses? Jonathan's with the glasses. Okay. Yeah. And another guy, he's three guys doing David. the podcast. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at that one and you too. Yes. So I'm gonna look and see. That's what I hear because I'm listening to you, Joe. Hey, we got this, this, this guy. Excellent. The guy's here? Yeah, they're here. John is here? Yep. Everyone's here. We're just all spread out. All right. Yeah. Of course. Man, that's pretty cool. I'm machine. glad you came. That, uh, wanna, that's so I awesome. I want to start investment in this kind of machine. Yes, absolutely. Make money. It's a great business to get into. And everyone does well. And I try, what is the best company I can buy a machine? Uh, you know it. The one you buy it. I would recommend CandyMachines.com. So their their booth is up. You see? Yeah, yes. You see? One. You see the NB, where the sign says BBA or NBBA? That's where they're at. They're up there. All right, that's one. What's the second one? Uh, Pipeline's good. Who? Pipeline Games is good. He's here. AZ Amusements is good. Asian they're, is better. They're all up there, yeah. Asian, the candy. And Pipeline. Like? Pipeline. Pipeline. Yes. Pipeline. Yes. That's on the back. Yep, all up there by the NBBA That's the three signs. of the best games. Yes. What are this guy's eyes? These, these are great for... But but not what we're looking for. Right, yeah. I, I just run a street route, you know, a regular this is, route. This is more for arcade games. Yes, large right. arcades, exactly, exactly. You just got a ticket chain for prices. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All so, right. I got $50,000. How much do you think I need to start investment? It, dep it depends. Are you opening an arcade? Are you no. just going get out and finding locations? No, restaurant. That's going to buy you, that's going to start you off very nice. But how much that, that's good start? Don't, I don't want to start with all the 50. Yeah. How much you recommend to start? You go spend like 20, 30,000, no more. So you want you start making money. I would start with 20 or 30,000 if you could do that. That's, that's great. That's, that's the ma maximum, like 30. Yeah, absolutely. You, you'll do very well with and that. That's it. Yeah. And let it run in like a year and see how much money come back. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm here because I know you got you know a lot of this. Thing. Absolutely, absolutely. I know that. Hey, thank you one more time. Of thank course, you. great to meet you. Enjoy. Guys, I love helping people. I love when people come up to me and ask questions. I'm so glad you guys all got all got to be a part of that. That was so cool. All right, what do we got over here? We are over at who is this? Smarts. I've been looking for smarts. All right, let's go take a look and see all the awesome. Machines for smart. Again, we got the rimless corners. You'll see those everywhere. And they've got awesome parts. Look how all those plush are staring at me, just begging me to play. That's what you want to do, guys. Get those prizes looking at you. Here's the cutter machine. And if you remember at IAPA, they uh, unveiled that robot JJ bot. There he is. 
JJ bought the Avatar. Remember that from IAPA? It's here at the MBBA show also. There he is. How cool was that? There's JJ Bot. Should we play him? Let's play JJ Bot real quick. All right, here we go. Let's play JJ Bot. After he dances around, he's doing his dance. Is he sad? Oh, zero tickets. Oh, he's so sad. All right, let's try it. Maybe. Here we go. All right, let's see if JJ can catch us some tickets. We're gonna go, oh, we can't go all the way around. We're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go back. Right there, let's see. Can he get those tickets for us? No, okay. All right, well, thanks anyway, JJ Bot. There's the mini Taj Mahal, but it's quite large if you ask me. <laughs> Definitely not mini. Here's Smarts, wind toy chest. I love how these machines look. So cool. We've got the magic coin back here. This is very similar to some, uh, some of the other machines we saw. Of course, you grab your, your eggs. One has the magic coin or multiple. You open the prize lockers to win those prizes. So cool. Always love stopping by Smarts. They've got some awesome stuff. All right, we're making our way over here. Here's the Bandai Namco station. We've also got Sega over here. So let's see here. Looney Tunes football. There we go. Tower Island, okay. Stacks up the tokens like that. And it's a pusher, but it's also got the larger uh, pink ball like that. That's so cool. All right. You know we love the Pac-Man stuff. We got Pac-Man Ski Ball, and then Pac-Man Power Pellets. Remember, Mrs. Galaxy Games played that. At IAPA, it was a lot of fun. You know, also, I love Pac-Man Battle Royale, which they have over here. That's a great game. I love Pac-Man Battle Royale. So there it is. Such a great game. Awesome. All right, what else do we got? Let's go check out Coast to Coast in Elot. Elot has their E-Claw machines out. Of course, they're, they're pushers like Wizard of Oz. They got Smurfs machines like that. We got some Squishmallow Claws over there. Always cool to see the Elop machines. And then you know we love Coast to Coast with their prize cubes, their prize factories. I've got some of their older machines in the Hot Stuff Claw machines, in the Toy Taxis. These are awesome, always awesome machines here. Here's kind of the newer machines from Coast to Coast. You'll see these in your local arcade, the Glow Fronts. These are the Fun Zone 2s. Very nice looking machines. Look at those cool prizes inside. You know the kids would love to play for all that. All right, let's make our way over to Betson. You know Betson always has some nice stuff on display. And then we've got LAI games over there too. Now there's, like I said, it's not just games here guys. There's all kinds of other cool stuff. If you want to get token machines or changers, or all kinds of other stuff related to the gaming industry. Here's bets and stuff here. Um, there's, you know, they sell a lot of parts and cool stuff like that. They've got all kinds of cool LED and LCD touchscreens. BGI Games has a prize omatic prize locker. If you run an arcade that is unmanned and want to be able to do tickets, this is your best option. Get yourself some prize omatic prize lockers where the user scans their card and then chooses prizes based on their ticket amounts. Now, obviously they have hang tags over there, which, you know, there's a lot of people here, so it's kind of tough to show you that right now. But these are really great if you have an unmanned arcade and want to run tickets. All right, 
here's Raw Thrills over here. You know, they do those Fast and Furious games, which we, we have so much fun playing. So that's always cool. We'll make our way up around here. We'll see what Sega has. And then we'll make our way over to LAI Games. Remember last year, LAI unleashed the uh, Asphalt 9 driving game, which was so much fun to play. Here we go, there's some new bike games, some new claws over here. Looks like Sega also has their own clip machines. Let's, let's uh, make our way over there. If we can, there's so many people here, guys. Here we go. We want to see these skillful machines. Here we go. This is the trend, guys. Look at how awesome those look. They got all kinds of prizes around inside. Such amazing lighting packages. Those look awesome. Great looking machines. I tell people, man, you're for play. Yep. Yes. You're a winner of one in five to seven plays. It works out well. Absolutely. Yeah, these, these um, I've seen you know a couple versions of these machines, and they just seem so far. I see lines of people waiting to play them. They just print money. <laughs> yeah. I, I believe it. I, I got to play them in I as well. Had a blast. Actually got a lady that bought those two. Yes. One went to a monkey show thing in South Florida, other than another one up in Robbins, Georgia. Okay, yeah. Those locations are mediocre. Yeah, yeah. They were made for 90 days. Excellent. Was I bet she was. Awesome. Everything looks awesome here. Very cool, very cool. So that was one of the reps from Sega showing and talking to us about how quickly these machines are returning on their investment, paying themselves off. 90 days, two months, guys, those machines are printing money. They're certainly super popular here. All right, let's make our way over to LAI Games. Let's see what they have for us this year. As you know, like I said last year, they brought out those Asphalt 9 machines, which were so much fun to play. Let's go see what they got in store for us. All right. Is this, an, is this an asphalt? Oh, it's an asphalt motorcycle game. Excuse me, sir. Look at this. Oh, this is brand new. Moto Blitz DX. You'll see these in your arcades coming up soon. You can drive in New York City, other cool places. And of course, they're full motion, not just leaning. They are full motion machines. Wow, how cool is that? I'm definitely going to have to play that later because that is super cool looking. I always love to see what LAI has in store because they make some awesome machines. Let's loop over here. They've also got Airstrike, which is a flight simulation machine. Also motion, motion play and looks so, so awesome. There's the Hyper Pitch machine, which... I challenged David from Extreme Bending and Jonathan from the Howard Hospitality Group to a challenge last year. And Galaxy Games 843 was victorious. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. This is their VRs, their VR games. Asphalt 9 VR. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Also, these Cosmic Towers caught my eye. What are these? Those are pretty cool looking. Bright machines look awesome. You'll see those in your arcades coming up soon for sure. They're a coin pusher and uh, a tower of prize kind of kind of machine. So cool to see. And then last but not least over here from LAI, I see Smash. This is a motion off-road game. That looks really cool. You're almost in like a ATD four-wheeler kind of kind of machines. And they're off-road. Look at that. Motion, uh, motion play as well. So that's super cool to see. Those are smashed by LAI Games. So awesome. Very cool. All right. We've seen so many great things today. We're going to make our way back towards the center of the amusement show. Another reminder, guys, if you are enjoying this content, make sure you smash that like button. Show us some love. 
for coming all the way out to Las Vegas from South Carolina to bring you this awesome content. There's an, uh, a larger version of those prize hubs we were looking at earlier. Look at that. So again, if you run an unmanned arcade, these prize hubs are amazing for not having employees and your players can still win prizes with tickets. So cool to see. But like I was saying, guys, if you're enjoying the content, show us some love, smash that like button, help other people find this video as well. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell for notifications. What is this? Goats and ropes. It's a rope climbing game. That was pretty crazy to see. <laughs> so cool. You never know what you're gonna see here at the show, guys. So many new machines, so many cool things to see. All right, let's make our way back to the center before we start wrapping this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this content today. Like I said, we came all the way out from South Carolina to Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2024 Amusement Expo. It has been so much fun. There's been so many awesome things to see. There's AA Global if you need some products for your machines. They have all kinds of amazing stuff. There's been so many great vendors here today, guys. Let's make our way back now. This is where, kind of where we started, back at the CandyMachines.com booth. You know, they're one of our favorite vendors. They've got such awesome machines. Let's take a little bit more in-depth look at these machines. So one machine that's brand new for the show this year, it's that Super Mini Duo. I love this machine. It's so bright. It's so colorful. It's a combination mini claw machine and two electronic bulk vending machines. Brand new for the show this year. It's going to be super popular. Also new for the show is the updated version of the Super Mini. Take a look at this. It's got the LED light marquee and the corner sides to make it even more attractive to attract new players and new viewers. That's so awesome. And of course, they've also got the new wider version, the 14 inch mini claw machine right there. That is an awesome machine too. There's so many new options here. And of course, some, uh, some uh, options we've seen before too, like the make it happen, like the let it happen, like the boxer machine. David's moving the key catcher machine around. Well, it's because I punched it. You punched the key catcher I, I machine. I doing it, I hurt my finger. So, I like so, so your coordination was a little bit off. Well, I'm, okay, so this is, this is uh, The high score this is, is 5,017. You're trying, all right. Watch me beat a 14 year old. All right. Can, Not like physically. Can you beat this? All right, let's see. Can you do it? I did it. I was doing the Mr. Miyagi. Oh, the Mr. Miyagi, okay. All right, he took too long. All right, you know there's a time limit. It didn't, okay. it didn't okay. start yet. All right, take two. <laughs> All right. Go for it. You're ready. Go. Ow, I hurt my hand, though. I think I, I kind of got scared. No, don't look at this. That's not even close. <laughs> That's not even close. The first one was like 8,000. The first one was like 8,000, but it didn't go. It's okay. It's okay. I put on my strength. All right, there is the key catcher machine. You know, we've got this at the game store. It does so well. Very awesome. Of course, we talked about the Robo Claw here, but I'm also, I've got my eye on some other machines. I like the size of this spaced out treasure. It's got the prize locker and it's kind of a medium size. It's really nice for those smaller locations that maybe a mini machine is too small for. It looks amazing. And of course, we've got the Magic Cut. I'm thinking about this for the ice cream shop because I love the pink lights. I think that would do really well at the ice cream shop. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Those pink lights are awesome. There we go. Of course, they got the Duck Treasure and all kinds of amazing machines here at CandyMachines.com, one of our favorite places. All right. So again, so many cool things to see. I definitely could spend all day showing you all out there everything there is to see. Let's wrap this video up, guys. I want to say thank you guys so much for joining me, for watching the video. Hopefully you guys took something away. Definitely invite you guys all to come out next year to the Amusement Expo here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Such a great time. So many cool people, so many great vendors. So guys, if you're interested, come check it out. Also want to remind you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help on the channel. 
we're growing and we need your help to get to keep growing so consider that by please guys all right with that said we're wrapping this video up right here guys thanks so much for watching this is matt with galaxy games 843 we'll see you next time